With the recent tragic shooting in Monterey Park, I heard a term used by the media and police which I had never heard used seriously before. Assault pistol. Assault pistol. Assault pistol. Assault pistol. But what is an assault pistol? Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. This shooting is already kind of memory hold for certain reasons, but the use of the term assault pistol really caught me off guard. Not only that, it was everywhere. Every single article and report was talking about assault pistols, and even though I know a fair bit about firearms, I legitimately did not know what they actually meant by assault pistol. I saw reports suggesting that since it was capable of taking a so-called large capacity magazine, that it's an assault pistol. But that would be practically everything. That would mean even if a firearm came with a low capacity magazine, an aftermarket manufacturer could retroactively turn it into an assault pistol simply by making a larger one. Anyone versed in firearms of course knows about the term assault rifle and equally knows that it's a rather nonsensical term that was codified into law in the national and state levels, though there is no agreement from place to place on what an assault rifle is. They use the term interchangeably with about any semi-automatic rifle, doubly so if it looks scary. But assault pistol was new to me, so I decided to determine if they were literally just making this up to make it sound scarier since they were in California, which already has the nation's strictest gun laws, or if it had an actual definition. And in California to my well, not surprise, more like sighing resignation, it does. Kind of. Their assault weapons ban has an area that specifically talks about pistols that are banned, and though it never actually puts the two words together and calls anything an assault pistol, it is a pistol prohibited in the same legislation, and that is where they are getting this assault pistol term from. Which also means there are assault shotguns as well. Neat. In California, a pistol is assault style? Class? If it has a fixed magazine of more than 10 rounds, or has a detachable magazine and any one of the following features. A threaded barrel. A second hand grip. The capacity to accept a detachable magazine outside the pistol grip. Or a, who oh boy, shroud that is attached to or partially completely encircles the barrel that allows the bearer to fire the weapon without burning the bearer's hand except a slide that encloses the barrel. So, no heat shield. This is a pretty broad definition. A simple Glock is an assault pistol if you add a threaded barrel. Heck, just about any modern pistol is an assault pistol with one minor change. This even applies to variants of the C96 broom handle Mauser where the magazine is detachable or is fixed and holds more than 10 rounds. Turns out assault pistols have been around for a long time apparently. The phrase magazine fed semi automatic assault pistol that had an extended large capacity magazine sounds like a student trying to hit a word count on an essay. It's redundant and makes it sound like some weird aberration among firearms, like it's specifically more dangerous, but it's not. I don't know how the standard magazine for the pistol can be both large and extended. Yes, I know that Californian law calls anything over 10 rounds high capacity, but a 30 round magazine for a Cobra is standard and almost all semi-automatic pistols are magazine fed. It would be more noteworthy if it was not, because that means someone's running around out there committing crimes with a Webley Fosberry or something. But no matter how ridiculous it sounds, that does mean there is a definition for assault pistol, a broad definition created due to decisions made by California lawmakers. But given that it's a stupid ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. But does the gun community no favors to just poke fun and ignore this classification? It is better to know it and make arguments about why the law is flawed in its constitutionality and impractical in its effectiveness. 
We can spend all day arguing about the semantics of whether the term is meaningless, which, though fun, does nothing but make us look just as silly as they are. It's better to focus on the stupidity of the laws instead of stupidity of terms. Have you ever heard the term assault pistol before or knew what it meant? Sound off in the comments down below as I'm curious if I'm the only one who was unaware. Please be sure to support content like this by following me on Patreon, subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.